Now this is probably going to be one of the most niche videos here on the channel. I never thought I'd be talking about Frasier on this channel, let alone the reboot of Frasier coming on Paramount Plus, and I believe October. So in terms of my history with the original seasons of Frasier, it goes down as one of my most favorite sitcoms ever created. Keep in mind, this was a spin-off. This had so much going against it. With how well Cheers went, everyone was writing against Frasier, saying this isn't going to work, this is a spin-off, spin-offs never work. And it actually became one of the most critically acclaimed sitcoms in TV history. So for me, it's always been Frasier, Home Improvement. I will always go back and binge watch Frasier. At the moment, I'm binge watching Home Improvement. They are my comfort shows. And when you have GAD, comfort shows are the best thing. I'd rather watch reruns of old shows than watch a brand new television series. But that's just me. That's just how I'm wired. So the Frasier reboot has been in development hell for years now. Kelsey Grammer had gone on the record and said, when we do it, it's because we've got the story right. And finally, as of, I think like two years ago, they got the story right, they got a script down, they were trying to get funding and stuff like that, then Paramount came back and said, let's do this again. They filmed it last year, and I believe the beginning of this year, and we have some official stills now, as well as a new rendition of Kelsey Grammer singing the Frasier theme song, Toss Salad and Scrambled Eggs. And it's not bad, the guy still has it, still got the lovely vocals as well. But looking at these photos, and the synopsis, is this reboot really necessary? Do we really need to continue the story of Frasier when everything was said and done in the last season in 2004? Now, don't get me wrong, the seasons definitely went downhill as the show progressed, which can happen a lot with sitcoms. It happened with Home Improvement too. By the last couple of seasons, things just weren't right, things had changed, the boys had gotten older, the Taylor boys had gotten older. And in the case of Frasier, it just felt like a little bit of a rinse and repeat situation. Obviously, Niles and Daphne had got together, they eventually had a son. But I feel like when Niles and Daphne got together, the show definitely shifted in terms of the dynamics. You're always rooting for Niles to eventually get Daphne, and when they finally got together, it was kind of like... Now what? Now keep in mind, David Hyde Pierce is not returning for the Frasier reboot, which already is a massive red flag. Perry Gilpin, who played Roz in the original series, is doing a cameo in this in, I believe, one episode. Jane Leaves, who played Daphne, will not be returning. And of course, the great John Mahoney passed away in 2018, which is a real shame. He was definitely the glue of the original series, especially keeping Niles and Frasier in line. You know, he's the straight man's man, always having to give the boys a reality check. So the article that I'm going to be referencing comes from the Hollywood reporter and they go on to say Kelsey Grammer returns to his iconic role 30 years after the show first premiered in a new Paramount Plus series. 30 years, it's crazy. Paramount Plus has released first look images of its revival of the sitcom Frasier, along with a premiere date Thursday, October 12th. The scheduling move puts the streaming series right in the middle of the traditional broadcast network fall season rollout and back on a night where it was part of NBC's must-see TV lineup for several seasons of its original run. CBS will also give the show a broadcast sample airing with two back-to-back -back episodes on Tuesday, October 17th. Frasier premiered in 1993 and ran for 11 seasons. The new series follows Frasier Crane in the next chapter of his life as he returns to Boston with new challenges to face, new relationships to forge, and an old dream or two to finally fulfill. So this is a very interesting notion that Frasier has moved back to Boston, where the events of Cheers took place. Cheers the Bar took place in Boston. Frasier packs up, moves to Seattle, and that is where all the seasons of Frasier are base, but he is now back in Boston. And from these photos, we see a brand new cast of characters, not an original legacy character in sight. With that being said, Perry Gilpin is going to be doing a cameo as Roz. Now, with a bit more further reading, I also saw that Babe Newith, who played Lilith, Frasier's ex-wife, is actually going to be having a cameo as well in the new series, which is great. I always loved her chemistry with Kelsey Grammer in the show. Just the shit they used to give each other is brilliant, and hopefully that's the exact same with this series. We also have the reintroduction of Freddy Crane, Frasier's son. I think they're going to try and reconnect. It's a shame that Freddy's not portrayed by the original actor, Trevor Ironhorn. I thought he was great in the series. He still acts to this very day. So it just would have made sense to get him back. The continuity would be right. There is a new actor portraying Freddy. And looking at these photos, I don't really have faith in this reboot. And of course, I'm going to watch it. I am a Frasier fan through and through. I am a loyal fan. I want to check this out. I do want it to do well. But looking at these stills, 
I got instant how I met your mother vibes. And I saw a few comments within the article uh, that was posted online, like on social media, and people made some valid points. When Frasier came out, it hit the right time, the right chord, it had that look about it. Now with HD and how everything is clean and polished and whatnot, it kind of kills the vibe of the original aesthetic of the original seasons. Notably absent from the series is actor David Hyde Pierce, who played Cranes' brother Nas on the original show. David basically declined and said he wasn't really interested in repeating the performance of Niles. David Hyde Pierce went on to say, I don't have a strong feeling that there's anything more that I can think of that I need to say about the character. I love those characters, but I don't miss them. That said, he left the door to potentially appear on the show, and I would never disrespect that in such a way as to just say offhandedly, oh, no thanks, I'm not gonna do that again. It's too valuable to me. But by the same token, because it's so valuable to me, I also wouldn't want to do it just to do it. And I believe it can be done without me too. And this is what I love about David Hyde Pierce. The guy is an absolute class act and I get where he's coming from. And I feel like that should have been the mentality with Kelsey Grammer too. I get that you have a love for the character, but because you can do it, doesn't mean you should do it. And I feel this is a perfect example. And again, I'm just going off stills. I'm just going off a brand new rendition of Toss Salad and Scrambled Eggs, which sounds great. But looking at these stills, instant How I Met Your Mother vibes. And plus we see Frasier back at a bar downing beers, much like his Cheers days. And someone made a comment on Facebook that really made me think, but also at the same time, it is kind of counterproductive, if that makes sense. Not being around Niles constantly has likely mellowed Frasier, and it could be a subtle tribute to Marty, his late dad. I get it, but at the same time, I don't want Frasier to be like Marty. I never wanted Niles to be like Marty. And there were instances in the original seasons of the show where they tried to be like Marty, and it's just failure. We always needed Marty to be the straight man, the man's man, to really put his snobby boys in a line, bring him back down to reality, give them that reality check. And that's what I loved about the original cast. They were just so different. Roz, the fiery producer, Daphne, the aloof psychic who was just absolutely charming, Marty, the man's man, Frasier and Niles always trying to outdo each other and outdo their friends. There's not even a mention of Bob Bulldog Briscoe coming back, Gil Chesterton. I don't know, man. I, at this point, I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm very protective of the original show. I think because it has such an intricate part of my childhood, my adulthood. Again, it was a massive bonding experience for my dad and I. And I was sad when the show ended, but I feel like it needed to end much like Home Improvement. I feel like things had just gotten stale. And I think this is gonna be a rinse and repeat situation. Again, looking at the photos, these new cast of characters, it just doesn't gel with me at the moment. And this is just face value. Again, of course I'm gonna be checking out the show. But for the time being, I just think it is totally unnecessary. Be thankful we got what we got with the original 11 seasons of Frasier. Even though they got a bit stale towards the end, I can still find comfort in every single episode. Love you guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.